Oh, I gotta get my workout in for the day. Hmm. How should I start? Of course, with some light stretching. Stretch my arms. My legs. All the muscles. Getting nice and stretched. And then... How about some light jumping jacks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta do at least a hundred. Nine, ten. Oh, honey. <laughs> Aw, you came home. Uh, what am I doing? Well, I'm about to start my workout. Well, you know, I haven't actually started yet. I'm just warming up and then I'll do some light lifting first and then I'll move on to the serious stuff, you know? Uh, I guess you don't know much about exercising, do you? Oh, well, that's okay, honey. You don't have to. Aw, but you're interested. You want to learn how to work out. Properly. Aw, that's so sweet. You're really being serious. Well, and no offense, but it will take a lot of work before you can, uh, well, have some decently sized muscles. But you just want to get fit. Well, I can teach you, no problem. Of course, honey. I'm always here for you. Come over here. I'll show you the basics. Actually, it's good to start off light. I mean, I did say I'll start off light. I think lifting you would be... It would be perfect, in fact. Well, because look at you. You're so small and light and... Yeah, I can show you what kind of moves you need to do in order to become strong. I'll lift you in all the proper ways. So you'll... You'll learn by being an example yourself. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's best to be involved in what you're learning, right? Hands-on experience, even though I'm, I'm the one who's going to be doing the lifting, but, you know. Okay. Come here, honey. Yeah, I'm only going to use one arm at a time. First? Okay. Lifting you with my right arm. Are you comfortable in my arm? Mm-hmm. Now, this is how you do a bicep curl. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, you're so light. Well, you get the point, right? Do you feel it, how my arm is moving? Yeah, I of course would do way more, but when you start lifting weights, you should do about 10 reps three times with the weight that you're comfortable with. So that's one move. <laughs> Thanks for being my weight. Was that all right? It didn't make you feel uncomfortable for me to lift you with my arm. <laughs> it's okay. Shall we continue then with my training session? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get in my arm again. So this is how you work your triceps. And similarly, how I'm lifting you. You should do reps for these as well. Just take it slow in the beginning, but you get the point. This is how the motion should be. <laughs> Can you see how my arm is moving? 
<laughs> yes, I know that you're being held by my actual arm while I'm doing the move, so maybe you don't have the best view of it, but you can adjust yourself while I keep lifting you so that you can see more properly. Can you not? Well, it doesn't matter. I probably should stop because, I mean, it's not like I'm getting tired or anything, but I just want to save my energy for when I lift the real weights, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're so light and it's really cute, but it doesn't really help me get actual gains, so it's not really useful for me at this point, except for the fact that of course, it's so cute to pick you up, and you look so adorable. <laughs> Being lifted with just one of my arms. Oh. <laughs> I hope you don't feel, I don't know, weird about it. Did you learn anything about what kind of uh, things you need to do when you're training? No, I should probably show you with actual weights. <laughs> yeah, okay. But to be honest, I just wanted to play with you a little bit. It's it's always fun to just, I don't know, see how easy it is to lift you. And I don't think you mind too much. But of course, I always have to check to see that you're still comfortable, you know? I mean, we're together, and you're used to me being really strong and even carrying you around casually, but I always want to make sure that you're feeling comfortable anyway. Okay, so let me show you some other stuff. I mean, of course, arms are really important, and there's plenty of other moves and things you can do to get those proper gains, but... You can't ignore your abs or your legs either. You need to work out your whole body. Otherwise, it will be unbalanced, you know. You don't want to look like those guys that have missed leg day or something. <laughs> I mean, right now you're really scrawny and small, but, you know, once you work out, you need to make sure you don't do one part of your body way more than the rest, because... You know, it's just gonna look weird, and... Well, do, don't you want to look like me? Like a male version of me? My muscles are quite impressive, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I have rock-hard abs. <laughs> but remember, they didn't just appear overnight. So, you can start with basic crunches and sit-ups, and later you can move on that you can do them with weights when you get comfortable, and then we can move on to more complicated stuff, but for now, start with the basics, because I know it's gonna hurt you. How many crunches did you do the past week, huh? The past month, I could even ask. Zero. Mm-hmm. Have you even done anything to work out your abs? Yeah, that's what I thought, honey. So you need to start with the basics. And lastly, the legs. Well, there's plenty of things you can do, but... Me personally, I really love squats. And as many different types of squats that you can do. Yeah. Because it depends. Do you want to work out your butt? Your thighs? Etc. That reminds me. There's some very fun ways to do squats. Hmm. I'm not sure how efficient it is for a daily workout, but why don't you follow me? I'll show you. 
Yeah, baby. For this, you might really need to be present. It really requires your expertise. 